for you. Anyway, a very good afternoon, everyone. My name is Serena Naroga Kasere, and I am the founder of Trillion Bookstore. As you can see, a very beautiful branded banner and table right there. And I am going to share with you my e-commerce story. Okay, how do I start this? I want to use... I want to use 10 minutes to make my presentation and 5 minutes maximum in case you have a question for me. But make sure you ask me questions that I can answer. Yes? Okay, so in 2018, I was invited by Arthur to one of the WordPress meetups in Kampala. That time I was a business developer in a cyber security company where I was doing marketing, business development, strategy and all those things and I used to do a lot of writing. Now I used to blog on Blogspot, you know as use Blogspot? Eh? Yes, I have some weaknesses, I used to use Blogspot. And so, Arthur told me that uh, you can come and speak in one of our WordPress meetups about Agile project management. So that was the first time I joined WordPress and the first time I joined a WordPress meetup. Now when I was there, I got to know that I can actually switch from the Blogspot to a WordPress platform and that is how I got to know about WordPress and all these beautiful features that you can use with WordPress. So I started writing. If you can Google Trillion Perspectives, that is the blog, the, the WordPress blog I used to run there. And then one day I start writing and then one of the WordPress community members tells me that they are going to buy for me a domain. I had never heard about that. Okay, I had heard about it, but I had no inspiration of owning a domain. So, I later on registered a website for the first time and I started doing a lot of writing and content creation and that is how I started building a brand online. So I shifted from business development into content writing and digital marketing and using all these WordPress features. Then another day, because I told you one day, so another day I joined the a WordPress, no, 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 a WordCamp, I think that was 2018 in Kampala. And while these guys were talking, they said so many things about e-commerce. And I was like, okay, so there is a possibility of someone sitting at home and running a shop online and then selling, so you don't have to run a physical shop. I started thinking around those lines of how do I build a shop while I am home and this shop is running. So I started learning about e-commerce and that is online commerce, the online shops and everything. So I'm going, you're going to forgive me because I'm going to mention Arthur a lot because I've known him for quite some time and every time I have a technical issue I ask him. Eh? So I asked him, is there a way I can run an e-commerce shop that sells art and crafts in Uganda? And then that is how he told me, actually, I can help you build one. Clap for him. Okay. You see how someone helps me make money? So, he told me he could help me build one. Now, my what I had to do was to learn more about how to run that e-commerce store. Because him as a developer, all he knew was, I'm going to put you online. Whatever happens online, I don't want to know. But me, I'm going, like most of you here, a client comes and says, I want a website, you're like, I can build you one. But how you sell, you don't want to know. Hmm? It's the client to invest in all the things that they have to invest in order to make those sales. So my job was to learn how do I make these sales online. So I invested a lot in reading. I invested a lot in research so I can run this shop successfully. 
So welcome COVID-19, that is February, in Uganda it showed up in February 2020. And by that time I was marketing for one of the crops villages in Kampala. And so they sent us home for all that time, and that time I wasn't being paid. Eh? Anyone has not been paid for six months? Teachers? <laughs> Only eh? six. Only six? Oh, okay, more than six. Okay. So, I said, I need to start up something that I can be home and I can still make money. But again, I could not do this without people. Because honestly speaking, the only thing I can do on our website is maintain it and update it. How to implement all the other things, guys, I don't know it. Eh? But I know how to maintain it, how to do my SEO, how to, how to do my writing and updating. But tell me, Mania put this thing, Uba put this plugin, those things, I don't know. So I needed people to work with. And I gathered, I have these guys around. I have Fanny, where is Fanny? Yes, she's right behind there. I had Fanny, I had Arthur, and some of that guys. So I told these guys, you know what? Me, my vision is to build an e-commerce store that sells art and crafts. So, Fanny knew how to do social media marketing and I knew, knew how to implement the website. Me, I, I'm a strategist. So I knew how to strategize and go out there. Actually, that's what I know best, guys. So, I mobilized those guys and I convinced them that this idea can work. And they believed in me. And for two years and a half now, we have been running that shop. Club for us. I'm posting you to I'm sorry. So, some of the challenges we've met along the way. One thing that I needed to do was to find where and how to do those things. I am a designer, a fashion designer's child, so I knew how to make some of those designs, and that is how I started from home. But again, I needed variety. So I won't tell you that I can do everything, and that is how I, mobil I mobilized over 67 artisans who make those products and can trust us to market and sell those products on their behalf. So we have a network of the team that is implementing the technicalities, and then we have a network of the designers or the artisans who bring those products for us to sell. Now, I'm just discussing the business model here. Then, I also needed to sell. So, everything technical about search engine optimization, what plugin to use, Mania, what else? Okay, there's WooCommerce, we use Yoast, Tobara, Math. Okay, Yoast is one of the funders, so I'll mention Yoast. So, we have those those, what do you call them? Plugins? Yes, you ha we have those plugins. And the truth is, the technical person implements them. I do the research on how to make them real work. Because I own this business, and if this business fails, it's not the IT person who is going to fail, but it is me as the business owner. So I have to be knowledgeable as much as the IT person. That sometimes I ask him, okay, is there anything we can do to do this? And now it opens his mind to actually there is something we can use to achieve this. Another challenge we have met along the way, payment gateways. Anyone has a challenge with payment gateways here in Uganda? Yes. Eh? fight on the WordPress community group. Now you're not showing me hands. Payment gateway. Okay, now one very good tip. I have a client who is a French client that I'm supposed to sell products to. And they are using an international card to make payments on my website. I go to them and I tell them, okay, here is your product but I want you to buy it online. I don't want you to give me cash. And guess what? While they are making the purchase, something pops up. The merchant is not collecting money right now. 
how would you feel? You are at the client's office. You have convinced them that they don't have to pay cash. They can make that transaction through your system. Then they tell you that merchant cannot collect international payments. Now that was a hassle. I went back, I called and I know what, now the, see, the website is not. Meanwhile, it collects mobile money very good. In Uganda, you make payments, mobile money, it is very good. But when it comes to international cards, even the visa cards in Uganda, very good. But when it comes to international cards, there is that challenge. And to overcome that challenge, it took me a full month of communicating back and forth. The, the merchant does not have an office here. So you have to communicate internationally. So we have that challenge. If you're here and you're part of the WordPress community, have a solution for this. Because I do believe you are so many, okay, we are so many brilliant heads here. But we have that very huge challenge in Uganda. My other challenge that I'm going to talk to, talk to you about is you yourself. Look at yourself. Look at your neighbor. You're my biggest cha challenge right now. You know why? Every time I tell you, buy from the website, you tell me, now, is that the website going to collect my details of my card? They'll be chopping my money all the time. So we don't have trust between you and us. But we are here to tell you, you have seen me speak at the World Camp 2023 in Entebbe. This is an international world camp. For Christ's sake, believe that we are an authentic platform you can buy from. Do you promise? Ladies and gentlemen, can I stop there? No? What do you want me to see? Okay, allow me to stop there. And, okay, before I stop, I know I've talked about the challenges. Someone might be asking, what good things have you gotten out? First of all, guys, we have made money through some few people who trust us to buy online. And the other thing is we have been recognized in, um, in different competitions. For example, I'm privileged to be a holder of the Best Woman Entrepreneur Award by Total Energies 2022. And the rest of the things that I can't share really. Yes, allow me to stop here. And in case we have any questions, I can take the questions now. Any questions? Uh, I think I'll give mine from here. So Serena, I was interacting with someone whom I was encouraging to pick up this e-commerce system in Uganda. With the likes of Jumia and the likes who are selling food. It has kind of picked up. Other platforms like Zephora that tried a little bit, things were a little bit shaky. But this is what this particular merchant told me. They were dealing in gadgets and they told me, that actually, you've talked about the payment gateways. The challenge they had was, a person will tell you cash on delivery, which I'm sure is one of the options everyone wants to because of the trust people have between the merchants and also their parties. But then you take the particular laptop, and someone directs you then along the way that they will plan for you. Then the tax take the two million laptop without you know anything. But just because you received a phone call or someone told you they saw you on the website as trillion stores, what have you done to mitigate any particular risks you face when it comes to transactions that cannot be really controlled within the WordPress ecosystem? If I'm a user, I've been here, at the end of the day I just get your phone call, I ask for a specific African bank, and you trust that I'm buying out of good deal. By the time you send the delivery person, I pick them up. So in your e-commerce story, what have you done to solve some of my challenges? Thank you. Actually, thank you very much for that question. As my belief has always been, e-commerce should be completed online. I don't have cash on delivery. Unfortunately, I don't have. If you, if you want to complete the transaction, it is cash first, then I'll deliver. Because I am trying so much to create a trust between me and the buyer. 
And one of the things that we emphasize is communication. From the time the person places in an order to how we are processing the order to when it reaches the client. But apart from that, we don't accept I'll deliver you, I'll, I'll pay when I when you deliver the products. You would rather come to the physical store and pick your products and then pay cash. Alright, thank you. But also, the other thing is we have tried so much to make transactions online. For example, I am one of the people, my business is not so huge, but at least I have a POS machine for transactions where people can swipe and pay. The other thing is I, I also have those merchant merchant quotes for where people can complete their payment through mobile money because in Uganda people trust mobile money more than the cards. So I try to find a way of understanding a client at their level.